How's everybody doing? It's just a few minutes before Shir, but I'd like to share with you one of my favorite Rashi's in all of Torah. The Pasuk says, Vayar Moshe Rabbeinu, he went out and he saw the affliction, the sevel of Klai Yisrael. So you'd say, okay. He opened up the window and he looked outside and he saw Klai Yisrael suffering. But Rashi says no. Rashi says, Nosan Einov Veliboy Lios Meitzar Aleim. He didn't just see it with his eyes. He felt it with his heart, with his entire essence. He felt their pain. Rashi tells us a tremendous, tremendous insight. When one hears of a tsar and a tsara of his fellow Jew, it's not enough just to say, oi, 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 it's terrible, nebuch, nebuch, oi. What one must do is feel the pain. Take a moment and take it in and pretend that it's you instead of that person. How would you feel had that exact thing happened to you? In the continuation of the parsha, it says also about Aaron Akai, it's the same idea, but in reverse. There's a concept of feeling your friend Simcha. Not just saying, oh, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. But to put yourself in that person's shoes and feel how happy that person is. How would that make you feel if you had a kid that was getting married? If you just had a newborn baby? So it brings to mind some of the famous story that I love saying over, but it's worth a repeat. There was a couple that lost a child, Rahman al and they said that the biggest nechama that they had was when Rav Pam Zechat Tzad Gavrocha came in to be Menachem Avel, and he didn't say a word. All he did was sat down, and he started crying and crying. He finished crying, and he got up and left. He felt their pain, and they felt that he felt their pain. Another Maisa, Rav Shach, Zechat Tzadik Devrocha, when he was Maspid the Satmer Rav, Zechat Tzadik Devrocha, and he said, there was once a person that came in and said that he lost his wife, and he has a disease, and he can't walk, and the Satmer Rav gave him a lot of money, and after he left, the guy came in and said, you know, Rav, he lied to you, he walks perfectly fine, he's married, he has children, so the Satmer Rav said, wow, Baruch Hashem, I was so upset, I was so distraught with all this person's tzars. Baruch Hashem, he doesn't have any tzars. And finally, we have the story about Simcha. Rabbi Avram Grudensky was the mashgiach in Slabatka. Somebody saw him dancing in his room, dancing. He said, why are you dancing? He said, because one of my Talmidim is getting married right now. And I can't be by the wedding. I want to be mishtatif in the Simcha. I want to feel the simcha. You know, once I'm saying this, I might as well say the Chavetz Chaim story. I love saying this over, but it's Kedai to hear this again. A person came to the Chavetz Chaim and said that he has a terrible disease. So the Chavetz Chaim said, you know, there's a Rav in a certain city. If you go there, he could cure your disease. So he went to that Rav and he got a bracha from the Rav. And sure enough, the disease went away. But the Chavetz Chaim told him there's one condition. Do not tell anybody about that Rav. Okay? He kept the Chavetz Chaim tonight. We're learning the Dharam now. And many years later, this person's own sister fell to the same disease. He didn't know what to do. On the one hand, the Chavetz Chaim said not to tell anybody, but on the other hand, it's Bikuach Nefesh. So he told the sister about that Rav. And because of that Rav, he had a tremendous Yeshua. So she went to the Rav. And lo and behold, this person's original disease came back. So he went running to the Chavetz Chaim. And he told the Chavetz Chaim the story, how he broke the promise. And the Chavetz Chaim told him, You know, I have to tell you the truth. When you came to me about the disease, I dab him for you every single day with all my might. I don't have those kaychas anymore. In other words, the Chavetz Chaim said, It wasn't that rub. It was the Chavetz Chaim who davened and davened. The Chavetz Chaim was Nosan Enov Veliboy Leismei Tzareleim. He took it to heart 
and he down for that individual. But now I don't have the koyches anymore. I'm too old. But boy, I have to run to Sheer, have a wonderful Shabbos.